Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace for those that are new. It has been a while since I have done a sit down video or just like even a talking video. So thank you all for your patience. I know it's been like super behind with a lot of things, but I really appreciate that you guys are here and watching the video. Um, so today's video, I just wanted to talk about our wedding registry. Um, so I think a lot of people, they like to, actually for a lot of people, I feel like they don't know what to put in a reg wedding registry. And I think for me as well, I had no clue where to start. So I thought this video would be kind of helpful for those that are still like trying to figure out what to put on their wedding registry, what's important and all that stuff. So hopefully you find this video useful. Um, Cause I was actually also looking at other YouTube videos that talked about what they got in their wedding registry, what they put in their website. And so I thought this video will be very helpful for those that are still trying to figure out what to put on your wedding registry. I'm gonna show you a glimpse of my wedding registry um, I used with Joy. So the big companies that we used for our wedding registry was Honey Fund, Target, Amazon, Bed Bath & Beyond, and my favorite, Crate and & Barrel. So Honey Fund is basically a cash gift um, that people can give you. And so for Honey Fund that James put up was money for like airfare, home furnishing, resort and hotel, reception venue, reception catering, wedding venue, and just any cash gift amount that they wanted to give. So I thought that was a great way to give other options that people can give. This is just a good way to give like a variety of ways that people, like your guests can give gifts to you guys. So I thought Honey Fun was awesome. I think there's other companies or other websites that also do the same thing, but Honey Fun was what we used. So originally I tried to film this as like an unboxing wedding gifts and stuff like that but me being a noob i actually filmed everything with no sound my apologies for being a noob and not knowing how to use a nice camera and also um the mic so i thought this was a great way to kind of talk about it still and just show you what we got so the first gift that we received was a toaster oven and this is from target so toaster oven, um, our apartment's pretty small. And so we are actually saving the toaster oven for when we um, move into a house house, when we have more counter space and everything. Cause right now toaster oven is not really a priority for us cause we do have an oven, we have a microwave. And so I feel like toaster oven is just like a luxury thing to have, right? So uh, we are saving that for when we move to our new house in the future. Not saying we're moving, but when we do. Another thing that we got was a skillet Oh man, so when I put this on our wedding registry, I was not expecting it to be that massive. I thought it was just gonna be a regular pan size. I mean, I guess the skillet comes in different sizes, but I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Um, so when I opened it, I was pretty shocked to see how heavy it was and boy, it is really heavy. I can't lift it with one arm. I have to like lift with two arms and so. But it's really nice. We used the skillet already multiple times to clear our steaks and all these things and it's been delicious and phenomenal. And that is also from Crate and Barrel. The next gift that we got is something that I always dreamed about putting on my wedding registry and it was a Smeg kettle and a Smeg toaster. Those are the two things, like the Smeg products. I feel like all YouTubers have it in their kitchen and um, everyone talks about how aesthetically pleasing it is. But actually there's some, like a lot of good reviews about those products, so I put that on. The next thing that I put on our wedding registry were Pyrex measuring cups. I like to bake and I feel like it's handy to have when you're cooking and so I put that in our wedding registry. I believe that's from Amazon, I think. I could be wrong, but it's either from Amazon or Target. The next gift that came with the measuring cups, I believe, was a steamer, like a clothes steamer, um, like a handheld steamer from Target. And we did use this on our wedding day. A lot of the girls took it to steam their dresses, and I think a lot, I think my parents use it as well. And so it was super nice because it was super compact, super small, and it was so easy to carry around. Um, so we got a steamer from Target. Actually, we got a lot of Amazon gift cards in our Amazon wedding registry. We put options of where people can just buy us gift cards instead of buying us from the wedding registry list. And so that was also phenomenal. It really saved a lot of money for us when we were like buying certain things when we, our first month that we lived in um, our apartment. Um, another thing that we got from Amazon was a silicone baking mat. 
Um, so I always wanted a silicone baking mix. I feel like it's eco-friendly. Parchment paper um, could be a waste a lot of times. It's kind of expensive. And so I thought silicone baking mats would be worth the money and you're also saving money because you're just reusing that mat. I haven't used it yet, so we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. On top of the baking, I got a baking set from Target. And specifically, I wanted that like champagne gold set because you know your girl likes gold. Um, so we got that. It's been phenomenal. It is super cute looking and it's it comes a lot. There's like a lot of trays and a lot of um, options that you can use. And so definitely worth it. The next gift that we got came to us broken. It was kind of sad. Um, I opened it and there was like glass all over. But these are our wine glasses from Cray and Barrel. Um, I think... I forgot how many were broken, but there are a lot of them that are broken. I think we only were able to use about like four before we got a new set. Um, but these champagne glasses or wine glasses are super unique and I did that on purpose. Um, I'm really big about like the table set up and I really want the table to look nice and stuff like that. Instead of having your regular wine glass, I kind of wanted to like make it a little, a little special. So I got this style. I wasn't too sure if I would like it, but in the end I do like it. It's pretty nice. So that is also from Crane Barrel. The next item that we got was a Nutribullet. Nutribullet? Nutribullet? The smoothie maker and also it's super convenient. It came with, I believe, two two of the bottle things, two, I don't know what it's called, but we have two containers and then we have different lids for like if you want to take it to go. It's really convenient, it's super nice. Um, super compact to use, especially since our apartment's really small. We made smoothies with it, it's been amazing. Super easy to use, love it. So the next time that we got is a mason jar, a cup mug style. Um, we got that a set of eight, I believe, from Target. And it's been super nice. We actually have, I think I overestimated the cups. I got a lot of cups from Target. I got this mason jar one, I got a water drinking glass and a smaller drinking glass from Target. Super nice quality, love them, but I think I overestimated how much I would need. I still like all of them. They're still worth it. Qual is great, but I definitely overestimated the cups. The next thing that we got was all our dinnerware sets, like the plates, the bowls, and everything. They're all from Cray and Barrel. We got the Hue collection. We have the plates, we have the low bowls, we have the actual bowls, and they're really good quality. Um, they're pretty hefty, which I, I do like. Everything's super nice. Um, and definitely worth to put in your wedding registry. The next thing that we received were the food canisters that held sugar, flour, coffee, and our utensils. They're all from the Hearth and Hand, I believe, collection from Target. The coffee one came with a little cute handle. The handle does not stay well on the side, which is a sad thing, but super cute. And I was hoping that I can use that as like a counter piece for in the kitchen. But since our counter is super tiny, I only have the utensils out and something else, but super nice. The next thing that we got from our wedding machine was the oil and vinegar glass bottles, I guess you can say. Super clean looking, it's clear glass. We thought it would look nice on our countertop, so got that. Next thing that we received was a blanket wire basket. I got this for our apartment because I thought it would be really good because our apartment's theme is very modern, black accent kind of thing. So I thought a black wire basket to hold your blankets would be super nice. Um, the one thing that I did notice that it looks pretty small because I, I feel like I'm, when I pulled it out, it seemed big enough for blankets, but now I'm wondering if it's a little too small because right now, currently, it can only hold like one blanket comfortably, but we'll figure it out. But it's super nice, super compact, and it looks really good right now in our room. Next thing that we also received from Target, so many things from Target, is a decor bowl. It's a wooden decor bowl. Um, we put fruit in it one week, um, or holding our other items like keys and papers and stuff like that. But I do eventually just want to use that for like vegetables or like fruit or whatnot, just to kind of display something nice either on our countertop or maybe our coffee table, depending on what we get, um, but it looks super nice. Another gift that we received were salt and pepper shakers. They're from Amazon and salt and pepper shakers, surprisingly, are really expensive for some reason. And so I was trying to find um, a good quality one that was kind of like a wooden theme. I think I was going for that theme for a kitchen is like a wooden modernistic look 
for our kitchen and so this was like the best option there are a lot of salt and pepper shakers where the whole thing is wood and you can't really see what's in what but i love that the middle part is clear so we can see oh this is salt and this is pepper so that's why i decided to go with that um but this is from amazon the next gift that i got were glass mugs from cream barrel i was a little hesitant because it was glass um but i thought aesthetically it looked nice so i got that but so far with coffee and hot drinks in it it hasn't been too bad nothing happened so far so we got that my cousin got that for us and then we got some coffee beans um, which is awesome and so right now i do want to talk about some things that were not filmed in the video that we also received we got a super nice espresso machine the breville one um this has been literally game changing for the both of us james has been making all the coffee and all that stuff and it's been phenomenal he's been using his barista skills to like make all the coffee and it's been amazing. And so Breville, oh my gosh, shout out to our friends that bought it for us. Woo, love it so much. The next thing that we got was a full length body mirror from Amazon. It's super nice. I feel like it fits our theme for apartment. James did notice that it seems like in the middle of the mirror or somewhere it's like distorted. But to be honest, I'm just like, it's okay. It looks super nice and it fits our apartment theme really nicely. So that one's from Amazon. Another thing that we also received was a glass pitcher. This glass pitcher is from Crane Barrel. Wanted to get that because, you know, when we have guests and then we want to come over, I thought it would be really nice and convenient to have just to make, you know, like the table set up nice and clean and stuff like that. Um, and on top of that, we also got napkins and napkin rings from Crane and Barrel. The napkin ring is the Emerson napkin ring and then the the napkin itself. We got the Marion Dark Natural Linen napkins and they're super nice, super fancy. And I wanted to get that for like future use when we had like guests over and I love setting the table up, it looked nice and so got that. Super excited to use those for sure. Another thing that we got from Crane and Barrel are the silver sets. And for that, we have the York Mirror five piece set, and it's super nice, super modern looking. It's super like sharp and clean. Um, it's kind of hefty, which I like. I like the weight of the silverware, which is super nice. Um, and I feel like it comes with a lot of different sizes, which is pretty cool. And the next thing that we got from Amazon is the cooking utensils. Came with like a utensil hold holder, but there's a lot of options with like cookware, which is super nice. I feel like we used almost all of it, minus some, but it's super clean looking. I love the color of it and it fits our kitchen theme very well. And that's basically it for my video. Um, hopefully that it was useful, that you guys know and have plan and idea of like what you would like to put in your wedding registry and i think my biggest advice for that is honestly just put whatever you need essentials like kitchen items or dinnerware sets and everything that you need that are gonna be costly for you um to buy on your own so that's what i was thinking about like so i got the glass mugs i got the water cups i got the plate silverware um and all these things there's some things that were not purchased i asked for like a knife set i asked for the kitchen aid mixer but it's okay it's it's expensive um but i put all the expensive things that i probably cannot buy uh, within the first couple months of getting married and so that's what i had in mind as i put things in um, the wedding room after i did the things i needed then i put the things i wanted and to see if that actually happened like the snack kettle and snack toast i did not think people will buy that but people bought it whatever you would like to put um any dreams like oh, i wish i like can have this like go ahead and just put it and see if people buy it like literally i think we are so blessed that our guests i want to say bought like literally 90 percent of our wedding registry which is like we were not expecting that and so when we received all these gifts we were beyond like blown away and so loved by all the gifts and i loved how every gift had like a little message or they told us like who it came from and we honestly loved reading all those messages from people and so it was like super fun if you are not subscribed please subscribe and i have great things in store in december we are actually traveling somewhere so hopefully that i can like record all of that and it'd be really fun but hopefully you enjoy this video if you like the video get a thumbs up and i'll see you next time